guys, welcome back to my channel, or thank you for stopping by if you are new here. In today's video, I am sharing a whole house clean with me and cleaning motivation. I typically start my cleaning videos in my kitchen, but I wanted to switch things up a little bit this time. So I am starting in my bedroom. I'm going to take my sheets off to wash them, but first and foremost, I like to spend a little time lint brushing my comforter because of my cat. I have this little lint brush I got from Amazon and it works so much better than a lint roller does. So then I am just pulling all my sheets off the bed and I went and put those in the laundry. And then I'm just folding some of my laundry that's been sitting here for a couple days. Also, even though this is a whole house clean with me, I did not do it all in one day. It's very rare that I find myself able to clean my entire house in one day. So this is like over the course of three days. Then I'm doing a little dusting around our nightstand dressers. This room is still very much a work in progress, just so you guys know. it's a very big master bedroom and we've lived in this house a little bit over a year and I'm still working on decorating it and finding pieces. I usually vacuum this room on a weekly basis mostly because my cat's hair comes out in little tufts everywhere and you can see it really plainly on the carpet. I have the Dyson animal ball I think it's called and this thing is the best vacuum I've ever used. It is seriously the best if you have pets. So then I'm just vacuuming in my closet and out in my hallway as well. Next I'm moving on to the master bathroom. If you've watched my cleaning videos before, you know I like to use my handy vac on all my surfaces before I dust because I just like to get that debris and hair off before I wipe. I also was out of toilet bowl cleaner, so I just used my bathtub cleaner instead, which is vinegar and dish soap, and I, that seemed to work perfectly fine. Next, moving on to my tub. As usual, I use my scrub daddy and that dish soap vinegar mix I just talked about. My bathtub actually wasn't too bad this time, but one of my favorite things is when I scrub and clean my tub really well and you rinse it and you can see all the like brown and black nasties go down the drain. And now moving on to my countertop. I think this is the first cleaning video I've made since we've had our new vanity installed. Right now I'm just spending some time cleaning my and my boyfriend's electric toothbrushes since those can kind of get a little crusty. We are in the process of renovating this bathroom and the first part was to expand the single vanity to a double vanity. So that part has been completed. Next is gonna be the bathtub and the floor. And obviously I still have to paint the walls. Very slow work in progress, but I am happy with how it's coming out so far. I absolutely love this countertop and it was a huge ordeal for me to find the actual design that I wanted. I like it because you can't see how dirty it gets, but that's also a problem because I can't see how dirty it gets. And it means I neglect it probably a little more than I should. And the cleaner that you'll see me using is just like a DIY cleaner with some alcohol, essential oils, and Castile soap.
All right, and now moving on to the kitchen. Here's a little before shot, how I have lots of stuff sitting out on my countertops. Got some dishes to do, a lot of junk to put away where it goes. So I always start with my dishes, so I'm gonna load the dishwasher with anything that's sitting out that can go in there. go ahead and start my dishwasher and throwing in a quick load of laundry here. And then before I put down a towel for my dishes to dry on, I always like to clean that surface off really well first. And then I'm just hand washing all the dishes that need to be hand washed. And then my favorite part of cleaning my kitchen is definitely cleaning out my sink. I don't know why, I just think it's super satisfying. All I use is baking soda and a couple drops of Castile soap with my scrub daddy. Just like in the bathroom, I like to use my hand vacuum to vacuum up as many of the crumbs as possible so I don't wipe them onto the floor. Don't worry, I do disinfect the top of my hand vacuum very frequently. And now moving on to my kitchen island. I feel like everyone kind of aspires to have kitchen islands these days. Like that's like the cool thing. Like, oh, my kitchen is big enough for an island. That's great, but honestly, I feel like it's nothing but a junk collector. We rarely actually use it for anything purposeful. It collects stuff and it drives me nuts. And then now I am moving on to our guest bathroom and cleaning that. This bathroom doesn't get too bad since it's not used very frequently. Now I am putting my clean sheets on the bed. Again, I like to spend a little time lint rolling my comforter just to try to get it as clean as possible. And now I am working on my living room. I like to use this attachment on my vacuum to give my upholstery a really good cleaning, especially on this armchair because my cat sits here.
And I usually wait till the end of all my cleaning to vacuum all the surfaces on a single floor. So now I'm just going through all the main floor and vacuuming. And I realized that my ceiling fans in my dining room and kitchen have not been cleaned since I moved in this house over a year ago. I noticed they were starting to get caked with dust, so I spent a little time cleaning these well. There's a couple upstairs I still need to do. And after I vacuumed, I went ahead and used my steam mop on all my hard floors. I really love this steam mop. I've been using it for years. Previously, I used a Swiffer wet jet. I definitely prefer the steam mop over that. And here's a look at my clean house. Like I said, I know a lot of it is still unfinished, so it's a work in progress. If you guys made it through to the end, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate your support. And if you enjoy lifestyle videos like this one about cleaning, organizing, and DIY home decor, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.